Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me today to learn about Canvas 3D scanning and scan to CAD for home improvement professionals. I'm Jennifer Kressel, and I'm with the business development team here at Canvas. I have a short presentation to share the basics with you, and then I'll open it up for Q&A so I can address your specific use cases. 3D scanning allows you to create a 3D digital replica of a real world space or object. This has been beneficial for documenting existing conditions, capturing measurements, and planning and visualizing changes. The result of scanning is a mesh file or a point cloud. You may have seen tripod scanners like this. They are used in various industries. They can sometimes achieve millimeter level accuracy, but many people find them to be too expensive, not very easy to learn or to use, and they don't have robust built-in CAD conversion. The new frontier is mobile 3D scanning. With a powerful 3D sensor embedded into common mobile devices, 3D scanning is finding new users and new uses every day. Scanning with these devices is easier. It's like taking a video. It's up to 99% accurate, it's inexpensive, and it's portable. Canvas is the leader in this new frontier. With the free Canvas app, you can capture spaces fast, really fast. It takes about a minute to scan a room, and you can scan the average American home in about 20 minutes. Right when you're done taking your scan, you have an accurate 3D model on your device. You can view the model, pull any measurement, colorize it, and share it with others. We also have a paid service called scan to cad which is optional, but awesome. With the tap of a button, you can get a fully editable, professional-grade CAD file in multiple formats. Canvas was built for home improvement professionals to capture residential interiors, but we do have users in a variety of industries who are capturing all kinds of spaces. Ready to get started? You'll need a compatible iOS device on which to download Canvas. The iPad Pro models from the last two years, as well as the Pro and Pro Max models of the iPhones 12 and 13, have embedded LiDAR, which is the 3D sensor Canvas uses to capture depth information. Then download the correct app for your device. The professional app for all iOS LiDAR devices is called Canvas LiDAR 3D Measurements. This is the app we're discussing in this presentation. We do have another app called Canvas for Homeowners, and I'm bringing this up just to encourage you to pay attention when you're in the App Store to ensure that you get the right app for your device. The homeowner app is intended for homeowners or folks using non-LiDAR or older iPhones. So for all professional uses, we strongly recommend using a LiDAR device with the app called Canvas LiDAR 3D Measurements. Canvas is pretty easy to use, but we recommend watching our tutorial videos and following suggested best practices. Using good techniques will ensure that you get good results. Here's what we suggest for most spaces. Prepare the space and plan your route. Open all doors, make sure there's enough light, remove animals, people, and objects you can trip over. Know where you're going to start, what you're going to capture, and where you will end. Then start in a busy corner of the room. It's best to start in an area with a lot of geometry, and that could be structural details or decor. Maintain proper distance from what you're capturing. Your device's camera has a range of just over 16 feet. You want to be between roughly 3 and 12 feet from what you're capturing. If you get too close, tracking can be lost. That can affect accuracy and detail. And if you're too far away, you'll be out of range, so it won't be captured correctly or at all. Then go in one direction using what we call the paint the fence method. Move in one direction in a single continuous loop around the room. No zigzagging or changing directions mid scan. The paint the fence method is up to the right, down to the right, up to the right, etc. Be smooth and steady. It's okay to overlap a little bit, that is expected. But what you want to avoid is scanning the same area more than once in a single scan. Now you can see how fast this user is scanning. It's a fine example, but your speed may vary a little bit based on the space that you're scanning. You'll be able to tell what you've captured. You can see that as he's moving, this white overlay covers the scene. As it turns white, that means you've got it and you just keep on moving. Also, please note that you don't have to hold it in one spot long or fill in all the blanks. 
it's okay. Once it's begun to turn white, you just keep on scanning until you get back around to your starting point. There we go. He's just going to close it up. There we go. He's back at the beginning. When you've captured a 3D scan with Canvas, you immediately have an accurate 3D model on your device. At that point, you can colorize it. You can revisit it anytime, either in the app on your device or in our web viewer. You can measure any two points in the scan, so you never miss a measurement again. You can share your scan with anyone. They can also view and pull measurements as well. You can do all of this at no cost. Now in this video, you can see the 3D model right after it was captured. You're able to move around in the space and you can pull measurements by tapping any two points. You can zoom in and use the axis guidelines to be more precise. And I also like that Canvas recognizes when two planes are parallel and it offers me the planar measurement in addition to the point to point dimension. Then in the bottom right corner is where you'll find the share button. You'll see it um, there. It's the second button from the right. It's a square with an arrow, a standard share button. Um, if you want to share this with your clients, your subs, it's a great communication tool. It can assist you then with bidding and planning. Again, anyone can view your scan for free in any web browser. No special hardware or software is required. Okay, scan to cat It is built into the Canvas app so that with just a few taps, you can have your scan converted into a 2D or a 3D CAD file. This is a semi-automated service that process your, processes the 3D scan data that you've just captured there with your scan into fully editable professional grade, design ready 3D CAD models or 2D drawings. Most models are turned around within two days Larger or more complex spaces could take a little longer. If you ever need a better ETA, just contact our support department and check on your job. The cost is 15 cents per square foot for 3D with a $20 minimum per order and 10 cents per square foot for 2D with a $10 minimum per order. This is based on the floor square footage of the space. Scanticat is available in several packages. There are three different file types in each package. We support these listed here directly, SketchUp, Revit, Chief Architect, 2020, and AutoCAD. Others are supported indirectly like ArchiCAD, Home Designer Pro, Vectorworks, and others. So if you don't see your design program listed here, just let us know what you use and we will recommend which package you should get. So scan to CAD is instead of modeling an as-built by hand, you're gonna save a ton of time. You'll receive a CAD file of the existing conditions in your chosen format. So you can just jump ahead to the fun part, visualizing your changes. Our intent is to provide a blank slate of the space with a reasonable level of detail for design, quoting, and documentation. This means we don't only include just the basics like walls, doors, and windows, but also baseboards, crown molding, light switches, outlets, other details that are both built in and affect the utilization of the space. At this time, lighting, ceiling, and furniture is not included in your model. However, those objects and all their dimensional information are still in your scan, so you can always just reference the scan when you need to, again, either on the device or in your web viewer. Some details in your model may be simplified due to the nature of the scan to CAD process. This especially applies when using Canvas outside of a home environment, like in a commercial or industrial setting. For those familiar with BIM level of detail standards, our scan to CAD output is targeted at an LOD 200 standard. In our supported file formats, model geometry is organized so that you can work with key surfaces independently. That allows you to edit and manipulate the model using the standard tools in that program. We use professional grade layering, naming, and organization conventions to help separate foundational items from architectural features. This is an example of a SketchUp model that was created from a Canvas scan in our scan to cad service. So as you can see, the file is just as if someone made it from scratch, but by scanning with Canvas, this user saved several hours over hand measuring, and then they saved many more hours converting this with our scan to cad process. Saving you valuable time and money is our goal. So now let me just check what questions you have put in the chat and the Q&A, and we're gonna help you get started. Bear with me for one moment while I pull those up and take a look.
Okay. So my first question that I see here, whoops, let me go back, is about, let me switch to it, I have a slide on this one, is about accuracy. So with a LiDAR enabled iPad or iPhone, most measurements in your CAD file should be within one to 2% of what's verified manually with a tape measure, a laser distance meter, or an existing blueprint. Now, what this percentage means is that on a 100-inch wall, you could be off an inch or two. The accuracy of mobile 3D scanning depends a lot on the user and the environment. So unfortunately, an absolute tolerance like all measurements will always be within X millimeters cannot be provided. But our customers use Canvas because it's an effective, powerful, out-of-the-box solution for things like design, planning, pricing, estimation, sales, or documenting existing conditions, whether that's at the beginning of a project or as an ongoing thing. Uh, some of our customers do a couple of things um, to give themselves a higher level of accuracy. Um, and one of the best way, I guess, is to scan the space with Canvas and then verify the few critical measurements that you need manually. Usually, there's only a few measurements that really need to be millimeter level precise. So either adjusting your CAD model once you receive it with those ones you just, that you took manually or having Canvas do it, um, supplying that measurement to Canvas so that that is taken into consideration during the scan to CAD process, that is possible as well. So when you submit those manual measurements um, with your scan to CAD order, the, they will override the existing values for those dim dimensions with the measurements that you've provided. And then the scan data processes everything else. So in this way, again, you get the best, best of both worlds. Um, and then we're currently working on improvements in this area and we will share those advances soon. Let's see here. If there's anyone else here who would like to add questions into the Q&A and chat, I'm just going through those now. I have another question here about exteriors and I have a slide prepared for that one too. Just give me a sec. Here we go. Um, someone asked if you can scan exteriors and you can. It is available now. It's not something that um, that is talked about in a, in a, you know, in a great level of detail on our website or anything. Um, it is in beta but we're processing more and more exterior scans every day and it's an open beta. So if you would like to try it, that would be great. Um, the scans look great. You know, we just wanna make sure that you're aware of some limitations. And this is, um, these limitations are, are really the reasons why it is still considered in beta at this time. Um, sunlight, bright sunlight can interfere with the LiDAR sensor, but they are not as sensitive as previous sensors. So just avoid shooting directly into the sun, just as you would when you're taking a photo. Um, you can even see some shadows in a lot of these scans. So I know that like, like the, the one I've got a screenshot of here. Um, so we know it was a sunny day, but the scan and the model turned out great. Um, the scan to CAD oversimplification is probably the main reason that we still state exteriors are in beta. And the standards are not yet finalized. So when you talk about interiors, I can very clearly say that ceiling lighting and furniture are not going to show up in your CAD model. But when it comes to exteriors, they're not yet finalized. Generally speaking, exterior structural elements are modeled, but things like dri driveways, landscaping, and fencing are not. Um, but we will be updating these uh, standards as we go along and um, in the future. So if you ever have any feedback about that, or frankly, anything else about Canvas or your models, please do reach out and let us know. Um, the biggest limitation, though, when it comes to scanning exteriors is the range. Um, and by that, I mean the range of your the sensor on your device. So um, it is about, it's five meters. So, you know, it's about 16 feet and change. So capturing a single story is best. Capturing multi-story buildings or roof lines can be challenging, but again, the surrounding terrain may be in your favor. So um, I guess that's, that's one possible thing to note. Um, also in, in this um, photo that I have selected here from this scan, this gentleman was not able to capture the, um, the, you know, the complete building of the roof lines, um, but it was still worth it to him to capture what he could of the exterior, because when you capture both, 
they both inform the overall model. And he, uh, he in particular, you know, I mean, he likes his models that, that have that information um, uh, taken, in, taken into consideration as well, or as part of his model. And then I have one more question here. Um, how does ScanTCAD work? ScanTCAD is a semi-automated pipeline. It includes a mix of both automated computer vision technology as well as human operators. So the majority of the work is done by software to recreate your space and generate CAD geometry. And then we have highly trained people uh, who use specialized tools to oversee that process. So um, that was my last question here. Is there any other questions? Feel free to put them in the chat or Q&A, or if you wanna raise your hand, I can answer it. Uh, if you wanna ask it verbally. Okay. Well, those are the, um, those are the basics about Canvas. I hope that this did answer your questions. And since there are no others, I will assume that it did, but you can always find more information on our website, which is canvas.io. If you'd like to talk about how to integrate Canvas into your business, or you have a question about something that I've discussed here, please reach out to me at hello at canvas.io. And if you have any issues or questions about an order, um, if you've already placed something and you have a question about that, you can reach out to support at canvas.io. But I really appreciate your time and attention today. I look forward to working with you and I hope you give Canvas a try. Please, again, let me know any questions or feedback that come up for you anywhere along your journey. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.